At this point in my life, I am more convinced than ever that success is a mindset. Like truly, and you've probably heard that before, it probably sounds cliche, but it's because people focus more on the wrong aspect of that equation. Like success is a mindset. You'll hear that and people, most people will think on the success piece. They'll start thinking about the outcome. But the key term in that sentence is mind, mindset. That is the root of success. It starts here in the mind. And today I'm going to show you how you can leverage your mind to reach any dream, any goal that you have your heart set on. What's going on, my people? Welcome back to another week here on The Mentality of Success. This is the podcast or, or series where I do my best to help you become equipped so that you can reach those big dreams, big goals that you have right in front of you and that your life was meant for. All right. So if you're one of those people that want that you feel like your life is meant for something, you're in the right place. Uh, this is going to be encouraging and I think uh, inspiring for, for those who are watching today because we're talking about mindset and, and how success is a mindset. And the first question that, that comes to mind, um, Actually, I'll tell you a story. There was a friend of mine, or coach, I should say. He was a, he's my coach when it came to starting my own business and getting into like the sales aspect. The sales and marketing aspect of business is a very, very challenging aspect of business, especially today with such a like a a clogged market. Like there's so many marketing messages that were that's thrown at us every day now with social media. And, and our, this thing in our hand called a phone, there's always messages being thrown at us. So it can be really intimidating for a new business owner like myself coming into this marketplace and trying to figure out how, how are we going to market our, our service and our value. So that's the backstory. But the point I want to emphasize here is, well, one of the, I run a side of the business that's more towards like professionals, executives, other businesses. And a part of the business strategy for acquiring clients is calling people. And uh, some of them you're probably not going to know, but that's the strategy. Call them and, and start the relationship so that you can share the value proposition. So I'm telling you all this because for a reason, stick with me. So when I first got into business, one of the things I struggled with the most was this idea of reaching out to people I did not know to tell them about a service that might be able to help them. And now looking back, like it, it doesn't make any sense to me at all. But in that moment, it was really intimidating for me because like many of you watching this, rejection hurts, man. Rejection is a, a, a stings. Like even if the person will never see you again in, in their life, oftentimes we are afraid to move into territories where we're not sure what the outcome of the response is going to be because we take the response personally. But anyways, so I was struggling with that and I went to talk to, to my coach, Joe, and I was just telling him like, man, I sometimes feel so intimidated picking up the phone and calling people I don't know. Even though I believe truly that I've put all the time and effort necessary to develop a, a product service that's valuable that could help them. Even though I've done all that work, I'm st I still feel so intimidated. And I'll never forget, Joe says to me, so let me ask you this. What if I told you that out of the you know, 15 calls you made, that call number 16 was always going to be a success? What if I told you out of all the calls you made, you make 15 calls, number 16 was going to always be a success? How would that change the way you pick up the phone? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I pick up the phone now. I'm ready to call my first 100 people. Why? Because at this point, I know I can't fail. At this point, I now know the mindset shift is I can't fail. That's why I say success is a mindset. What if you knew that tomorrow when you woke up, from that point on, Everything you touch, every dream you have was going to succeed. What if, what if you just knew this? What if you knew that all those big dreams you have 
that, that you know would add value into the world, you believe in your heart would add value to the world, that now, because you take action, they're going to succeed. Many of you, like me, are saying, I mean, I, I'm ready to go now because what happened? Your circumstances didn't change. You didn't become a different person in the, in the last five seconds. But your mindset changes. And that's why success is a mindset. And what we often, the mistake that we often make is we focus more so on that success aspect. And we, we think about success as, as a destination. You just got to be relentless. You got to go after it. You got to go blah, 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 blah. You probably heard all those cliches. But the truth is, success really boils down to your outlook, your mentality regarding success. I almost, I like to like, the, the example I like to use is think about a projector. When we, when we look at a projector, we often see the image that it projects onto the wall. Right? That, that's, this, that's the part that we are usually, that we care about. But the truth is, what makes for a successful uh, um, projector is one that has a light that actually works so that you can put the images in front of them for them to project onto the wall. That light is the same analogy you got to use in comparison to our mind. The car, the house, the thing, the material, that's not what makes you a success. You can be in the worst circumstances right now and already have taken major steps towards becoming a success because the light goes on. And here's how our mind, here's how our mind like develops success. The more we feed that mind good things and things that are in alignment with the success our life was created for, the brighter that light gets. That's why I talk about the mentality of faith, success, leadership, and wealth. Those are four great, great promoters of light in our life. And when we understand these things, we turn our attention away from being success-centric to being mindset-centric. And we spend our time knowing that success is a, it's an inevitable byproduct of a well-developed mindset. It is a byproduct of feeding and growing the number one talent that we've all been given, which is our mind. I look over my life in those, those years when I was not feeding my mind were the years where my life matched that level of lack versus the years where I, I just hungered for feeding that mind is when my life grew. And so the question I have for you is if you know that your whole mindset would change if you just knew you wouldn't fail, then what's stopping you? What is stopping you from going full speed ahead towards the thing that your life was created for? And there may be a lot of answers to that. In fact, I brought some that might be stopping you. Because here's what I know. I know today if you can make that mindset shift and you can start looking at whatever is ahead of you, whatever your service your life was called for, it will greatly not only benefit your life, but it will benefit all of our lives. But here are the things that stop us from growing. I wrote down three things that I want to share with you today. I took some notes and I want to share this with you. There are three things that really stop us from, from developing that mindset. The first is we emphasize our losses way too much. And it's the example I gave you earlier with that story about Joe and being afraid of rejection and calling. We emphasize losses way too much. And all it does is it chips away at our mindset of success. And so the first time things don't doesn't go right. Like if we have a if we have a if we could see our lives from a 30,000 foot view and we knew Okay, 10 years from now, you're going to be very successful at, at that thing you've been trying. We'd have a totally different perspective. But because when we're in it and we're in year one and year one is filled with failure, the losses, those losses become the primary, like that becomes the primary image put in front of the light that is our mind. Remember I talked about that projector? When we start experiencing all these failures, which are events, it serves as like a picture in the front of the light that is our mind. 
And all we start to see is that, though, we can't, I can't pursue this. This is just going to end in failure. You see how quickly our mindset can become focused on the wrong, on a lie? And I call it a lie because you and I were created to succeed. We have it in our DNA to create solutions. If you don't believe me, just look around you. Look at the last 2,000 years. How many solutions men and women have come up with? Why? Because it's in our DNA. We are created to be a success. You and I are the main course of this whole life. Your value, the value that's within you, is proof. And so today I want to remind some of you that if you focus so much on your losses, you will miss out on making it to the, that milestone that will bring into your life some of the fruit from the work you've been doing towards that success. And so that's number one. We often don't develop our mindset of success because we're so focused on the losses. Number two, the reason why we often don't develop a mindset of success is because we dishonor our talent. And I mean that in more ways than one. There are gifts, there are strengths, there are talents that you possess that no one else has. And just because they're not developed yet, you dishonor them. There's some of you, there's, there's things you can do naturally, but you never put the time into developing it. And now is the time, you st as long as you're still breathing, to start developing those talents. Don't dishonor your talent. Don't dishonor the, the one thing that you've been given to contribute to this world. And don't dishonor it by thinking because it's not being distributed to millions of people that it's not valuable. That talent that you may possess may only be meant for your family. I talked about this last week with the sphere of influence. It may only be meant for, for the people in your circle, but it, that makes it still the same level of value. So don't dishonor your talent. And if you're someone that you say, I don't have talent, like I, I don't, I can't think of a talent. You know one talent we all possess? Our mind. Like I told you already, we all, we all have that same talent in common. We have a mind that if we grow it and we invest into it, we will create something valuable. All right? And here's the last thing, and then I'll get on out of here. The last thing that stops us from developing a mindset of success is that we often, we often go at it alone. We often, as individuals, we come into this mindset of independence or dare I say, isolation, because we don't want to fail in front of anyone. We don't want anyone asking us, we don't want anyone asking us, hey, how's that book coming along that you told me about, that you shared with me? Or, hey, remember you told me by this time next year you'd have this much capital or your business would be this successful or you'd have that job? How's that going? And so for a lot of us, we will retract, like we'll, we'll get back into this space of isolation and try to go at it alone. Can I tell you, if you want to develop a mindset of success, the number, one of the most beneficial life hacks you can apply is making sure that you are doing this thing with other people. We are interdependent, meaning I only have a certain level of independence in my life before I need the value that your life brings. There's a network. Oh, and I talk, I'll talk about this to the end of time. That is the third greatest currency. And it's so important that you don't go through life alone because Going through life with other people only adds to and accelerates a mindset of success because you begin to see their value. They begin to see your value. You begin to see how together we, we go out and we create, you know, we multiply our value. And it just solidifies the truth, which is that you and I are here with reason, with purpose. And you and I, the fabric of our being. Meaning, like, you know, our shirts may say like 100% cotton, polyester, like the fabric that your life is made out of, the fabric that was used is success. 
That's how valuable you and I are. And that's why it's so important that instead of focusing on the, the outcome, which is like whatever the success is to you, focus on the mindset. As we go into this new year and, and beyond, focus on the mindset. Focus on that question I asked earlier of if you knew you couldn't fail, what would change in your life? Right then and there, for a lot of you, that, that just thinking that way, it gives you a, a, another level of energy. It energizes you because the thought of not being able to fail is a mindset that only those who know that they are the success can achieve. Listen, I hope this was helpful. If so, make sure you like, hit that notification button so that we continue being a part of this network and I can continue adding to your mindset and your value, all right? That's all for this week. Uh, I'll see you all right here, same time, same place next week, reminding you that success is your destiny. I'll see you on the next one.